begin the press conference. Mr. Akhil Ahmed will address the press. This conference is being held every two years all over the world since 1972, with 18 Congress so far held till now. This is the 19th which is happening in India. The Council for Leather Export, the Utrecht Congress, both welcome all of you. So no speech tonight, just to say hello to everybody. Uh, thank you for coming from far away sometime. Uh, thanks to you and thanks to Indian people. We will have a wonderful Congress with uh, 568 delegates. It is with immense pride that I stand before you as a convener of this 19th UTIC International Technical Footwear Congress and would like to welcome you all to India. It is the first time in its 42 years of history that UTIC Technical Congress is being held in India as a major global hub of the manufacturers of the leather and leather product, it is but appropriate that India plays host to this event. I congratulate the Council of leather exports for having taken up this initiative and brought this conference to Chennai. And I also congratulate Mr. Rafiq Ahmed and his colleagues for the strenuous efforts which they have been taking to keep the leather industry in the forefront of uh, industrial and export development in India. On behalf of WITIC, its executive committee, its scientific committee, which have both contributed a lot to the success of this Congress. I warmly thank the Council for Leather Export, without whom nothing would have been possible. And in particular, Mr. Rafik Ahmed, Mr. Akhil Ahmed, Mr. Ramesh Kumar, and Mr. Kapoor. And of course, Mrs. Sunanda Santapa. I take this opportunity to thank the Ministry of Commerce and Industry for pro providing financial assistance to the UTIC and to the industry members, associations, and, the fi and their financial support. It's indeed my great privilege and honor to be here today. So it's such a wonderful occasion when both creativity and fundamentals of an extremely meaningful industry are converged here today in this convention hall. I congratulate you all, felicitate you all, and wish that this conference goes ahead and achieves not only its primary purpose, but leads to a great synergy of mind and action. For I would like to thank Government of India for including leather as the focus sector in the manufacturing in this country. And our Prime Minister has included this as in the one of the focus sector and included in the Make in India program, which is a visionary program of, go of Government of India. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sergio and myself are happy and very honored to be here this morning in UTIC's 19th Congress. We will talk to you about the millennial fashion consumer and how his profile, attitude and behavior challenges and influences the millennial footwear factory. The consumer is known to be always right. The issue today is that I'm not sure that the consumer knows any more what is right for him. And that's create a lot of uncertainties for all of us. My name is Elisa Lopez, and I work as a product designer in the design of the Department of Technology Solutions in Ciatec. The consumers' expectations and needs are growing. The consumers are more well-informed, and they are looking for safety and protection. As a factory, you typically have product managers or category managers. And when you start wearing a brand hat, you change the philosophy of the business. The market seems bigger, segmentation becomes easier, uh, targeting becomes a lot easier. So my name is Victorien Picolet, and I am biomechanical engineer at CTC in France. So I will uh, tell about the senior population 
and uh, more specially the development of senior shoes, a new direction with biomechanics. The first is that we are living in a time when innovations are incredible. They are huge. But more than this, they are fast, even faster than expected. Fashion is in everywhere, but also we need to keep in mind that fashion is also in every time. But maybe nowadays uh, is fashion is much popular, but we do not need to forget that fashion has been also an important role played in the food world uh, every time. We have with us Radhika Shurajit Stroop, who are one of India's premium dance institution, and they bring to us the colors of India. <laughs> After the nice cultural dance, we are all got energy now. On behalf of the Council for Leather Export, the leather industry, the shoe industry in India, I would like, with all your cooperation, in appreciation of what you have done, we just wanted to give you a token of our respect. We'd like to give you one presentation today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your in investment in this uh, Congress. We TIC and the Executive Committee wanted to deliver you this award. Thank you. Thank you very much for your investment. Thank you very much. Thank you, sorry. Thank you very much. Today our customers expect their shoes to be manufactured under socially fair and environmentally friendly conditions. The best solution would be to store the footwear on the vacuum in a fridge with no lights. Well, that's not very easy in a, in a shop. Obviously, sustainability is now a big issue for the whole industry. One of the biggest problems uh, faced by today's society, as we all know, is uh, climate change. Uh, as a factory owner, as a manufacturer, actually is also means survival. All these changes came because of the human needs Design and breakthrough innovation can play a pivotal role in positioning of leather and leather product industries in the global arena by value addition. Excellent growth of uh, production in the uh, footwear industry and uh, in the last couple of years, uh, production doubled. Why is Bangladesh important in the global footwear industry? One point I would like to mention here that Bangladesh does not mean cheap labor. It has low-cost labor force, which is one of our cutting advantages, competitive advantages. 